Hey guys, it's Noah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a quick tip for you all about removing motor plugs. Now, motor plugs undoubtedly are a convenient option for beginners, it allows a solder-free experience, and it makes it super easy to replace motors if any issues arise. However, as you get more advanced, and especially if you get into racing uh, or lightweight building, you're gonna wanna get rid of these plugs, not only because they're heavy, but also because uh, it limits the performance uh, and the amount of current that travels from your ESC to your motor. Uh, it's really all determined by the quality of that connection and these tiny little pins in here, and that's just something you don't wanna have to deal with. Also, uh, the cycle rating on these plugs is really low. I think it's like 10 to 15 cycles of plugging and unplugging before you experience even more performance degradation. So there's a point in time where it's time just to go ahead and get rid of these. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to say it's a really good idea if you're pulling a flight controller out of the box and you're about to start removing the motor plugs, go ahead and test everything you can uh, on here before you touch a soldering iron to the board. Uh, so test all four ESCs by plugging in a motor and running them up in the configurator. Test uh, your gyro and your receiver um, and do as much as you can just to make sure you have a fully functional board because like I said, as soon as you touch a soldering iron to the board, the warranty replacement process becomes a lot more difficult if not completely impossible uh, and as we get into this a lot of people think myself included when I first started by the way uh, that it's best just to go ahead and snip these plugs off you know just go in here get flush with the board and snip and that is not a good idea especially on this beta FPV board here you can see it has these little yellow capacitors my first time ever doing this I did exactly that and I actually ended up snipping off uh, the capacitors and little did I know you need those in order to have the ESC function properly and I wasted an entire flight controller on that. So do not snip it off with side cutters. It's not going to end good. Um, we're going to actually go ahead and desolder these pins. So before we get into the desoldering process here, I just wanted to say that this process is not my own. I'm not trying to claim that I came up with it or anything. I know a lot of people that do it this way, and I originally learned it from Nightwing. So shout out to Nightwing. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the things you're going to need for this. First thing first, you're going to need a soldering iron, obviously. You're going to need some solder, and a flux pen is highly recommended. Um, I have these tweezers here. I have a few different types. This is like kind of a standalone version, um, but these tweezers are backwards, so when they are open, they're actually closed, um, and then when you squeeze on them, they open up. I have a few of them also on these bases here, and they act as helping hands, so I can kind of hold the board in them as well, and then this is how I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug out with these tweezers. So let's go ahead and mount the board uh, in my helping hands here. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is just kind of delicately uh, attach the board uh, like so, and I like to use both, one from each side, just so that it doesn't move around. And then I'm gonna kind of extend the end of uh, the board off the edge of the table right here. And I'll go ahead and center it in the camera shot here. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take those tweezers once again, and we are going to connect them to the underside of the first plug we are looking to remove. So I'm gonna be working with these two sides first. So I'm gonna start by using my flux pen and just kind of going over top of them like that. I think this flux pen is kind of dead, so that should be all right but we're gonna flux over the plugs before we put solder on them. And then I like to go ahead and heat my soldering iron up to about 350 degrees, maybe 370 tops uh, while doing this, just because I like to prevent myself from torching the board uh, when I'm trying to get these plugs loose. And then we're gonna go ahead and tin these pads here. And if this soldering iron is a little shaky, I apologize, my wrist is kind of floating up uh, in midair. And now, once we got this first plug tinned, I'm gonna go from the back side here, heat up my soldering blob across all three pads, and lightly pull. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Pull. And bam, there we have it. Our motor plug is out. So let me go ahead and show you guys this process once again. I have my uh, tweezers on the other plug now, and I'm going to go ahead and tin the pad here. Get it across all three pads. You can go ahead and sort this out later. Now that everything is done, you can see the motor plug actually just fell right out. Look at that. It's super convenient. I didn't even have to touch the pliers. Pick them up off the ground now, and you can see my plug is right there. 
and it is out um, and we are done. Okay, so we are on the other side now and we're gonna repeat the same process. Go ahead and hit the pads with the flux pen first. Get them all ready for solder. And then we're gonna take our solder and our iron and heat up the pins and attach our tweezers to the underside there. Make sure they're kind of hanging on and heat up our pins just like so. And bam, tweezers fall onto the ground and the motor plug once again is removed. Let's do it one more time for you. On this one, we're gonna attach our tweezers, tin our pad here. Hopefully I'm not blocking your view with my thumb. Heat it up. Kind of go back and forth a little bit. And now we have all of our plugs removed. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up my pads here. Remove that solder if possible. Just like that. Then repeat the process on the other side here. It's really easy to do. I just like to clean off the tip of my soldering iron here. Into there like that. Clean off the tip again. And just like that, now all of our motor pads are tinned and ready to be direct soldered on there. Um, and all of our plugs are removed. It's quick, easy, simple as that. That's my quick tip for today, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed it, found it useful. If you guys have any questions, of course, post them in the comments section down below. Like, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video.